And then thirdly, the most epic tool before we actually get to this sucker is... Oh my goodness, dude. dude. That looks good, <laughs> that man. That looks absolutely... All right, so check this out, guys. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we just restocked on our Christmas edition long sleeve t-shirt. Of course, you got the Goon Squad wrapped up in Christmas lights. These suckers are super fire. They went super quick last time. And on top of that, we just restocked on our custom stainless steel Goon Squad bottle openers. There's not very much of these either, so if you guys want to copy something and help support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com. But as of right now, let's get to the video. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we started working on the exterior of this well house, trying to make it look like the actual house. We're gonna do stone on the front and some hardy board on the side. We already got a bunch of stuff knocked out. We got one side knocked out with some soffit and a gutter. And we even got that whole entire side with some hardy and some trim. It's looking absolutely amazing. You gotta keep in mind, we gotta make this sucker look good because we gotta make it livable because I may just sleep in here for a couple of nights, who knows? But what we're gonna do next is actually the stonework. Now that we got the scratch surface knocked out, which took a whole entire day to dry, we are ready to go. But first thing that we gotta do is actually run down the mountain and grab approximately like around 100 square feet of stone. So let's just go ahead, hop into the truck, run down the mountain, get what we gotta get, get back up here and just get straight to work. Alrighty guys, so we are finally back from the stone factory with plenty of stone, dude. dude. We got about eight boxes of stone, which should be enough for this entire well house and some, but we did kind of run into a little issue whenever we were buying this stuff, because as you can tell, this is all big pieces of stone here, and uh, our house actually has a ton of little pieces, but they were actually out of all the little pieces. This is actually called like the 19th century, which is like the bigger pieces. And then what are the smaller pieces? The ledge stone is yeah. the really thin pieces. And so, that's what our house is, right? Yeah, it's a bunch of ledge stone on it with just these 19th century pieces just mixed around in it but you know what we're not going to wait about six weeks because they are just behind because they were uh, actually closed for like a month or two due to what's been going on so they're trying to catch back up we can't wait six weeks we need to get this done basically one day one so day. um we're actually going to go ahead and actually grab a grinder and cut some of these pieces up into smaller pieces right yep and that's exactly what the guy at the acme or at the supply store was telling us to do just grab a grinder and kind of just chop it into sections and it'll look just like the ledge stone the thin stone dude. yeah we'll just mix it up mix and match it and i'm sure we can uh, actually get this thing looking good so i say we go ahead and actually start mixing up some mortar fire up our heater because it's still kind of cold and hopefully start slapping some stone on
things, son. Moving right along, ain't we? Dude, with just a few pieces, this sucker's starting to come together. It's starting to look like the house, man. Dude, and we didn't even chop any of those. That's the 19th century, right? The larger yeah, stones? That's, we're, that's just us picking out the small stones and just throwing them on there. We use some larger stones at the bottom because our plan is to actually pour like a little pad up here too one day. But anyways, as you can tell, dude, check this big old piece out. This is what we're talking about. This is probably the biggest piece they got or they maybe even a bigger piece. I there. don't know, but what we're going to do with that piece is what? Like chop it up? Yep. And and probably like some thin little pieces probably like this big and just do like 20 of them do a few of them and then we're just gonna like mix them up in here just randomly just to make it look even more like yeah the house, it's definitely dude. gonna flow a lot better but also we forgot to mention we threw a piece of trim right yep we threw a piece of trim right there and a little bit of soffit right there that way we can just slap this front end on and then just do the hardy right after dude, dude. we knocked that stuff out super quick we done figured this stone out but you know what what time is it dude, dude? it is lunch time right now but you know what the time just flew by because we we're trying to actually collect this stone it took quite a bit of time just being at the office trying to figure out what stone we need and it took a good bit of time getting loaded up dude. yeah that was like two hours right there but you know what that's not going to slow us down anymore we're going to keep on moving and mom's about to pull up with some food and we're about to actually do some grilling and then we're going to get right back to work Oh my goodness, dude. We are just barbecuing, ain't we, man? Oh, yeah, dude. We just grilled up some burgers and we got some Mexican corn and that's all we need on this cold day, man. Exactly what you said. First off, let's start over here. We got some uh, natural, the ultimate all-natural barbecue fuel right there. This, dude, is this stuff looks like somebody just went over there and just picked it out of somebody's fire or something like that. It dude. does look like that. That's pretty dang wild. But you know what? The burgers were delicious. And second off, before we go over to the coolness that we got over, the awesomeness over yep. there, this backpack turbo, one of the greatest versatile tools ever dude, dude. if you want to light up a charcoal grill in like two seconds that's how you do it right there man yes sir got that sucker fired up and then thirdly the most epic tool before we actually get to this sucker is that tool back there the kx080 which allowed us to do what dude build up a natural table right here man one stone and two stumps and you got us a little crooked table but hey for our first natural table dude that'll do right there man dude, this is where your fight or flight instinct kicks in and we <laughs> just had to get creative with it that's pretty dang cool dude. oh yeah that's legit imagine like if you you actually took your time and had like a big piece of stone you can actually make a pretty legit table out of it dude. we might just do that definitely want to build something epic right here like a nice little patio sitting chilling area or whatnot oh, yeah, for sure grilling area man grilling area but what do we have here right quick dude i mean uh, i mean we got some burgers that we already destroyed over here and we got some donuts man that's all you need donuts and, and of course you got some corn up in there this is all mom's idea she just uh, hooked us up with something delicious thank you so much Bow. <laughs> but anyways, what do you say right now, dude? Let's go ahead and finish up eating and then go back over there and start slapping some more stone on.
voila. Now, which side do you think is better? My side. <laughs> so he did this side right here and checked it out. It looks super clean. And then I did that side right there. It almost it looks clean as well, man. It looks clean. It almost matches, dude. But it, we did a different, few different patterns. Yeah, as you can tell, we did cut a few little thin ones. These did not come with this kit. So we had a few thin ones that Pops actually cut for us while we were working. That way we can just go ahead and just kind of like arrange it the, typically the same way as we did on the house. Yes, right sir, there. dude. That is looking super clean. We finally made it to the top. And as you can probably tell, it is starting to get a little dark on us. Look at that, dude. The sun is already disappearing. That's crazy, right dude. Right on the peak, man. That's crazy how time flies in the wintertime, man. In the summer dude it'll get darker like at nine o'clock man dude, we can't need wait that, we need that summertime back yep. but you know what that winter time really didn't cool down this uh deep wall right here because it done blew up on a secret dude, of work completely dude. blew up it's just really weak i know it oh <laughs> oh, it's not even plugged in, but it did actually like start smoking and, up and smoke, sparks dude. started flying out. So we're going to need to buy one of these new ones. This is pop. So we'll get him a little early Christmas present and use it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll hook him up with something. Maybe get us a nice one as well. We need one of them bazookas, dude. We need one of them with a the handle. You know what I mean? Do one of them strong ones oh, because yeah. I mean, we, we done put this one out of its misery, man. <laughs> but anyways, um, we're having pops is actually, we're lucky to have pops out here today. He's mixing it by hand. Yep. He's mixing it up for us by hand. And, uh, I mean, we're, we're down like two bags, so we got like maybe two bags to go, but that should be plenty to finish this thing up. I really want to finish it up tonight. Tonight, dude. yeah. So I say we go ahead and mix up some more, get on this skid and get up, lift it up and start throwing some more stone on. Now that's what I'm talking dude, about right check there, that dude. Out, man, that looks good, dude. Man. Working into the night, we knocked out everything. Look at that peak, though, dude. Yeah, dude, we cut a bunch of little triangle edges just all the way up to the top on both ends. We even bought a little like square up there where you can see where that power is sticking out at. That's perfect for a little box. That way we can put a floodlight on this thing. But dude, that is, I'm so glad we knocked that out, dude. In the nick of time, man. Yes, sir. And that mortar was actually drying super quick. It's weird. It's super cold, but it was drying a lot quicker. Dude, I believe that little heater thing was just heat it heated the walls up and as soon as you put it on there in like five seconds it's dry dude dude that looks insane right dude, there, i dude. can't wait to paint like all the softens and stuff which hopefully tomorrow we can probably go ahead and almost probably even finish this thing up 100 percent dude man. we're gonna try our best dude but you kind of look like a football player right now dude. dude i've been just cutting away dude grinding all them angles out I'm, i bet it's all over my face man dude, it, we are super dusty we have i to mean do look at this dude <laughs> oh my goodness dude it, it was a it was a tough one i gotta say like we said before dude uh what's it called stone, stone takes dude takes time and it ain't easy man but stone you know breaks what? your bone stone <laughs> breaks your bones but we got it done man we got it done in the nick of time but as of right now we're gonna go ahead and do a little clean up and catch you guys tomorrow in the morning
Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here. We already knocked out so much stuff. Dude, we knocked out this whole entire side right here, dude. dude. The softest, the hardy, the trim, everything, man. Yes, sir. And why are you mixing up some mortar now? Here? You're mixing up a little bit more mortar because this morning I stepped on, I guess this is called the, the step, the door step right door here. Door seal or and something. And it kind of like, like bent down and knocked this sucker out because the mortar is not 100% dry. It's still kind of wet. So it's going to have to dry for like another day or two or something. Yes, sir. Like that. Pops will probably quickly mix up some mortar, slap it back on there. But more importantly, we knocked out this whole entire side over here and all we got left is basically the back side which right now we're gonna go ahead and do the soffits real quick and then the trim and hardy is gonna go even quicker and this morning we also stopped by the home depot right yep picked up some more paint so our plan is to actually paint this thing today dude Dude, i think we got plenty of time to knock out all the paint we do got a little bit more gutter work as well right yeah one more gutter on that side and then we'll finish off the cap on this side that way we can just paint everything at once yes sir what is going on here dude whenever you see that car you only, you... Mean, only means one thing <laughs> <laughs> but anyways let's keep on working here and maybe we'll show you guys what's in that blue Ford Focus. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so check this out. We finally got this whole entire back end knocked out along with all the soffits, the trim, and the hardy. Check out them pipes just sticking out right there, man. That's a nice clean cut. What do we use, just a hole saw? or what a step you, drill, we just drill, drill through it. Just went straight through that, no problem. The most difficult part was probably that peak right there. As you can tell, there's a bunch of angles. We've never done that before, but you know what? We figured it out. There may be some big old cracks and crevices, but ain't nothing sealant can't take care of. That's exactly what we're gonna do next, right? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and actually get all the cracks and crevices and all the nail holes, and just basically get ready for some paint because I'm dude. excited to paint this thing, dude. Mountain shadow on the trim. Just the exact same thing on the house, of course, light gray on all the hardy the, the paint should go pretty dang yeah quick, dude, dude that's gonna be the fastest thing is paint especially with that new gun that we got man dude. that thing is legit Shh, that thing sprays in no time plus we got the best quality paint where like you only need like one, yep. one coat right yeah one coat and you're good man so that's pretty much it what else oh yeah mom pulled up that's what i was gonna say and what do we eat we ate some soup man i don't know what that stuff is called but it was pretty fire man i think it was that super Tuscana stuff man she whatever that you whatever stuff. you said not that not that olive garden stuff but it was pretty fire man and when we seen it i got super excited man there's like a few <laughs> things that i get super excited about food and uh water build, water and building <laughs> stuff man but anyways we're gonna go ahead and bring in some caulking take care of all these cracks and crevices and hopefully get ready for some paint
Dang, son. There you have it, man. The first coat and the last coat for the hardy board, man. Dude, look at that. This sucker is slick, man. Dude, slick, dude, man. Looks really good. Just looks good with just one coat of color on it already, dude. Yeah, and well, this paint over here in that large five-gallon bucket is not the highest quality. It's like the mid-grade stuff, but I think all we need is one coat on yeah, this, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm doing one thick coat on this, and, uh, I mean, that's it, man. Once that's on there, let it dry a little bit, and then we're going to do the, the mountain shadow, and it's going to look really gonna good. Look really good, but we took care of all the nail holes all the large cracks and crevices and everything it dried up pretty dang quick and this paint went down in a matter of what like 10 minutes yeah dude? just 10 minutes dude really quick the painting is easy right now what i'm thinking is we turn on that heater on the inside and start heating this thing up that way these walls can dry really quick yes dude. sir because we want to go ahead and move on to the trim oh, as for the gutters we totally forgot to mention that we'll probably do the gutters last right? yeah we should actually just left the gutters off i mean cut them to trim just left them off that way we can just paint them and screw them on later but this one we're just going to leave it on here we're just gonna paint it like it is right yeah now. we could work around it no problem we got plenty of those little cardboard cutouts right there oh, those yeah. are really nice so what do you say uh blast that heater on yeah blast that heater on go ahead and clean my gun and switch it over to a different paint Right, so check this out guys we got one side trimmed out with some mountain shadow paint or shadow mountain paint it looks clean dude, dude it looks really clean now as you can tell dude just look at off this one side it's basically a mini house that matches that big house over there dude, dude once we get that door knocked out too that'll be here really soon the only thing is this paint is not drying as fast as we thought we tried like pointing it directly at yeah, the wall, we pointed right? Yeah, it directly at the wall. It's still taking forever. I don't know why, but you know what? I guess we're just gonna save it uh, probably for the next video, let it completely dry because whenever I'm just trying to trim this out, it's kind of pulling off the wet paint off yeah, of it. Yeah, we don't want to ruin it, but dude, that looks super clean. I can't wait to get this thing 100% complete, which will definitely be in the next video. Then we're gonna move on to other things, dude. Oh yeah, but guys, that is pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. But as of right now, we're gonna do a bunch of cleanup and probably catch you in the next video and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad also don't forget we just restocked on our christmas edition long sleeve shirts you got the goon squad wrapped up in the christmas lights right there these are super fire and also we got some bottle openers these suckers are very limited so if you guys want to copy you something and help support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.